Hey guys, if you like to party and the stop block is what you're trying to go fast on, we have a new brand for you here. Stop block the world. Go to the link in the video and support us. It should eventually lead to t-shirts, hoodies, and other apparel. What is up guys? So it's Tuesday, February 11th and it's the middle of the day and if you're wondering why I'm in my truck, it's because John and I, we are heading to Lights Out. Um, as you notice from some of our other videos, we uh, were pretty good friends with the guys from Enemies Everywhere. Um, two of their crew couldn't make it over, and they asked if we could help. And so, you know, we obliged, and uh, now we're on our way down. Uh, we have to meet them at the hotel, or Summit today, but then tomorrow is when everything really gets going. But so far, it's been a decent trip. The weather's definitely a lot better the further south we're getting. Uh, and, uh, looking forward to a, a fun week at, at Georgia. So I'll keep you guys updated along the way. Hopefully we'll uh, get some good stuff on, on camera. I'm not sure how much I can record at Summit, but uh, I'll, I'll definitely just try to get what I can. And there should be plenty of time to get stuff at the track. Oh, you're good, man. It don't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright guys, we are down here at South Georgia Motorsports Park. As you can tell, it's loud. They've been testing for several hours now. Qualifying uh, starts tonight at 6 p.m. But we've got the car out of Summit on the trailer. And it's currently jacked up. Has the transmission needs to go in. Along with multiple other things. We, get, we still got to fix a few things that were damaged in the fire. Uh, it's best to go back and watch the Horsepower Wars show to see all the details. That's where we're at now. Um, I'm hoping that I'll have some time to ride around later and show you guys some stuff. Uh, as you know, we get the, the goal here is a race, so by right now it's all hands on deck to get this thing going. But I'll keep you guys updated. Update: We made really good progress. Um, we got the transmission in and new battery in, uh, cables that were damaged in the fire in, all the injectors, pulled them out, cleaned them all. Uh, just got to uh, change the clips for the injectors that are pre-turbo and uh, verify absolute top dead center number one and we'll be ready to start it. It looks pretty awesome as you can tell. But, you know, what these guys did in 10 days is pretty cool. As you can tell, it's got ladder bar set up on radials, of course. Team Biggin down there, and behind Team Biggin is uh, um, the Midwest boys, and then uh, Dream Team. So, so far so good, but just got to get it running so you can get that out of the way and get that, breathe that, that sigh of relief, and then we've got some more uh, wiring and stuff to do, it looks like, but making good progress so far. Day guys, we just got the car running. I'm sure there's some video of it, so I'll make sure to include that. Uh, cross my fingers on that. Um, it uh, first time it's ran in nine months, and once we figured out a few parts, it fired up. Uh, had a, a cylinder that was cold at first. I guess an injector clip wasn't making good contact, so we just took the pins right off and then put them directly on the injector, and uh, it resolved that issue. It's just uh, they're still idling a bit fat, but we got some heat in it. Transmission seems to be working. Still got to do some more wiring tonight, but good progress. You know, once we came here with a non-running car, so now it's running, and we just got to uh, make it a lot easier to justify everything else. So it's time to get back at it. Another update, guys. It's 2:35 in the morning. We've uh, had to just do a lot of different wiring stuff. Um, not done yet, but we made a lot of progress again, and uh, so far I'm 
have the false sense of not being tired. But we head back to the hotel now. I'm going to get some sleep for a few hours and come back in the morning and uh, finish doing some wiring stuff. Uh, hopefully, we get, hopefully the weather will hold up tomorrow and we can get some actual racing in at least one pass. Morning everyone. Here we are at the track. It's about 9.20. A little bit later than we hoped for but we were exhausted and slept in some. It's actually very sunny despite the forecast. Um, so it looks like we'll at least get one hit in today, but we do have a good hour, hour and a half of work, which the track's starting a bit late, so that's, that's working in our favor. But uh, that's what we got to do now. So I'll, I'll get back to some updates uh, here in the next couple hours. Another update. Um, we've been wiring on the car all morning. Uh, Steve got the tin work done. John's been helping. Uh, he helped with that, suspension. Uh, and there's a, several other guys as well. It's definitely far from one person doing something. Um, making progress still finding little quirks uh, we didn't get a chance to make a hit today uh, because of the weather so right now I'm just sitting in my truck charging my phone for a little while to see if it if it, if it breaks again soon I can try to dabble the wiring a bit more but that's, that's where we're at now um, hopefully we can get our stuff figured out you know the, right now the biggest thing is um, we got trans brakes not working I haven't even tried to wire the bump yet because the trans brake was priority um, and then if we get the trans brake working then we can worry about wiring the bump up uh, and the external injectors for the um, extra E85 injection it's not uh, they're not working properly yet either so uh, like I said we're trying hope that we can get that stuff working and of course tomorrow get some actual data uh, definitely uh, hate to not be able to make a hit today but you know these cars were finished almost nine months ago then the fire happened or ten almost a year ago I think actually over a year ago and the fire happened and uh, whenever uh, you know whenever, whenever something sits that long especially when it travels multiple states it's just who knows not, not to mention they were built in an incredibly tight time frame and uh, issues that we're having now are probably gonna happen then too but that might be it for today. If not, I'll give you guys an update and maybe I can give you guys some action video here uh, tomorrow. It's just non-stop and I don't have time to sit around holding the camera uh, while things are going on. So we're all pretty, uh, pretty uh, knee deep in the project. So here we are guys, it's starting to rain again, but we finally got this thing on the two set, trans brake working, and uh, a lot further than we were this time last night or even an hour ago. Super excited. Um, it was a pretty awesome setup, took us some wiring to clean up, and obviously the car built in a fast time frame, so wiring was going to be, you know, like a low lackluster, but functional. Uh, but we're done for tonight. We're going to go home to the hotel, get some sleep, and uh, I'm ready to pick some ass tomorrow. What's up guys, Friday here in Georgia. A little chilly today, 49, but the sun is out. Uh, it rained this morning, uh, or last night I should say, so they got some wild contract stuff to clean up, but it uh, gives us time to do what we gotta do. Just gotta add some weight, add the uh, bump button, and uh, get the auxiliary injectors for the uh, cooling, since they're not intercooled, to uh, uh, work. So that's what we're about to get into now, and I'll hit you guys back in a bit. Biggins car and then the Midwest Mayhem guys. 
This has been the most relaxing day so far, and we should be able to make a pass here soon. If you've never been to this event, I, I strongly recommend it. There's a lot of uh, awesome stuff here if you're a fan of racing, specifically small tire racing. And so much stuff makes so much power. I don't get how you can not love it. This is just one of the aisles and there's about there's several more and they're all packed to the you know cars are packed out past the entrance down the track or not cars but um storage you know stand trailers are crap there we go i feel like we got you know the waste gate is a little small on the turbine housing it looks like we're kind of overrunning the gate on the two-step but i think we still have a. Uh, We'll be able to figure it out for sure. If it makes too much power, we'll, we'll make some adjustments and go from there. As heavy as this thing is, we have a lot of leeway. But with the Turbo 400 in first gear, you gotta be a little more careful in power management. Yeah, it's about 1245. Uh, I guess it's Saturday morning now, but we finally got our first hit about an hour ago. Uh, first hit, far from perfect, about a 559 at 124. Pretty happy with that considering uh, there's a lot that we really didn't know going into it. Um, the, uh, we don't have much boost control because it's making what it's making, but you know, thankfully it's an LS and it doesn't care. Uh, hopefully it continues to not care. We may, I don't even know if we can get any more test hits tomorrow. Maybe one. Uh, they'll call for bad weather Sunday, so they're really going to try to speed this race up down here at uh, Lights Out. Uh, but overall excited uh, about that. I'm going to spend the, the drive back to the hotel reviewing the data logs, um, seeing where we're at. I'm sure I know we can make it better. And then, uh, you know, go out there tomorrow. We need to plug some more when we get back. And I, th I think the timing event, the timing retard is very aggressive for the air temps, but we want to play it safe on the first one. I get to about 234 degrees. We just think having pistons and it's got uh, some of the enemy enemies everywhere, fire rings in it. Uh, so we don't have to worry too much about lifting ahead uh, unless we get stupid. But once again, man, it's been a long day. We've been here probably 15 hours today, 16 hours. Finally got a hit, and it was a great hit, the best hit so far anybody has made. Um, and uh, you know, I'm ready for tomorrow. I hope we can win. That way those guys can, uh, you know, get back to uh, Australia and uh, you know, know the trip was really worthwhile. But I will update you guys again tomorrow. Saturday morning, guys. Getting ready to go up for our second test pass. First pass of the day. Uh, we able to go through the logs last night and got some good data. Uh, it should definitely go faster. Um, you know, we're still having that same issue overrunning the boost on the launch. Uh, I made some changes in the tune. You know, last night Jamie wasn't on the two steps super long, so we were didn't have much of a problem. But if he gets hung out the drive today, it definitely caused an issue. Uh, so that, that's where we're at. Uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling good about it though. The uh, plugs they had a little bit left in them. Uh, some of the cylinders. 
and uh, so we just uh, all thing I really did was just pull some fuel out of it and I chopped the uh, IT modifier down some. But uh, I, you know, I think it's going to uh, it should go. I think it should go to 30 on this pass. And or could not tires up. I could be wrong about everything, and it could just suck. But I'm gonna be optimistic. But I will update you guys as soon as we get back. Second pass down, uh, one of 558, 126. Made a little bit less boost since we are, since we're, it's a little warmer right now, since we're overrunning the uh, the wastegate. We don't have as much control of the boost. Um, but still, number one qualifier going into round one eliminations here soon. Going against the Dream Team, um, they haven't had any luck. They they torched it. They gave a blown head gasket. They pushed freeze plugs both times. So they're going to run with no water. Uh, so at least that'll eliminate that issue. Um, I'm feeling good about it. We're going, we got a little more aggressive on our tune-up uh, as far as the leave and just a hair up top. Plugs are looking like they're good, but being non intercooling with the E85 uh, as the uh, auxiliary injectors to help cool things down. It's not, it's not terrible for aftermarket pistons. It's not my preference, but um, it's, it's doing well. We're happy. I, I think it should go to 30 if we can get the leave right. This thing's heavy, so we should be able to throw some power at it. Um, I didn't realize this morning it was going to make two less pounds of boost uh, on the two-step. Uh, but you know, this test pass and still did a 133.360. So last night we did a 130, but we were breaking up up top and want a hair, uh, only like a, a hundred slower. Um, but that, that's once again, we're down three pounds on the big end, two pounds on the leave. But we're, we're getting there. This uh, car was smooth on that run, no breaking up. Uh, and I'm feeling confident about round one. So hopefully we go out there and get this, and then we know we're in the finals for that shot for $10,000. We are into the finals, guys. Uh, we have Team Biggins, who you know, as you guys know, won last year. Um, still feeling good about it, but it's racing, so anything can happen. So I never get ahead of myself. Uh, you know, we're not going to change anything on the car. We're just checking over to make sure everything's okay. The last pass is a 569 because we're going to the Dream Team, and they were, had a very hurt engine. They were down two cylinders, uh, so the six cylinder essentially, and um, we, we knew that that bar in a red light we had it so Jamie just got up on the two step and bumped in right away only made four pounds and uh, being as heavy as it is it just not not enough at that RPM to get it going but it's okay though we won so we are ready for the uh, the finals uh, here shortly just putting the plugs back in and we're going to give it a go uh, the, the converter is a bit tight uh, so the high gear just kind of lays over and we're not able to really uh, back half that great but thankfully it's been the fastest car by several mile per hour and um, ET's you know 
almost a half a second on the field. Maybe four tenths would be more accurate. Uh, but uh, so I'm feeling good, but never get cocky. So we got one more round to go, and then we can celebrate. Guys, we won Horsepower Wars. It's, it's awesome, man. I, you know, I can't. I, I, it's, John, I did, we came down, you know, near, just for this last thing, so we didn't do the major build off part. But I'm glad we were able to help these guys achieve uh, this. Uh, this I'm, I'm just a little stoked right now. Achieve all this and, uh, you know, and make the trip out here worth it. But. Here, Abe deserve lots of beers. Yeah. Right? Get a damn. That's it. Get a damn. 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 I guess uh, soak in the moment for a little bit and start loading everything up as we're bringing the car back to our shop in North Carolina to, to make it better. But appreciate you guys checking this out. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.